Hello, today we're taking a look at the ASOF iPad Converter Suite, in this case the Ultimate version, which is a DVD to iPad converter with iPad video converter and iPad transfer. All these tools are used to assist you in transferring data from your iPad, like video, music, photo, etc. from your iPad to your computer, be it Mac or PC. So you can see on the home page of the software here, you have your four different tools. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the DVD to iPad converter. So this is a great if you have a DVD that you'd like to rip so that you can put it on your mobile device if you're going on vacation, flying, anything of that sort. So you click on it here. When the tool opens, you can see here you have a couple options. You have your option to load the disc into the DVD tray. You can add effects, trim, or crop the video. You simply go through this four-step process in order to load the disc, add your effects or trim, then select the outputted format from the profile list. From there, you can simply hit convert to convert the file, and from there, you can easily import it via iTunes to sync to your iPad. So really simple settings, really easy. Again, your big buttons up here to load disk, effects, trim, or crop. You have your play media and your preview on the right here, and then your settings for conversion. So it doesn't just convert for iPad, but you can see here it supports a plethora of other iPad or iOS-like devices. Next up is the ASOFT iPad Video Converter for Mac. Again, this is just used to convert any video file on the Mac. So again, another simple four-step process. You simply load the files. This can be video or audio. Do your editing, be it effects, trim, or crop. Select the output format below. Again, all of these great formats here selected that you can output to or convert to. So very simple, very easy to use, and then again, your big convert button right here. Next up is the ASOF Mac iPad Manager Platinum. This allows you to manage all of your files and data within your iPad. So maybe you're upgrading from an older iPad version to a new one or you're selling it or anything of that sort. You can back up all the data that Apple doesn't normally allow you to do by uh, plugging in the device. You can see here there's nothing plugged in right now, but once you plug it in, it will show up on the left here so you can choose to back up things like your SMS messages, contacts, uh, pictures, all of that. So a really simple process. You can also do this with iPod or iPhone for that matter. You import the files. You can also choose to export the files from the iPad to other devices. Uh, you can choose to export obviously to the computer on your hard drive or you can export from iPod, iPhone, iPad straight directly into your iTunes library. So maybe you have a new computer and you want to sync all the music and other data back into your new iTunes library. Last but not least, you have the option to edit the information of the ID3 tags within your music or other data files. Again, you can also see things like ringtones, preview those files down below, along with some buttons to load in the content. Last but not least, we have the DVD creator. So this allows you to import a video file, edit it, edit the audio track, add subtitles, and then you can put a blank DVD disc in and burn it to DVD. So maybe you need to make a home movie or anything of that sort. You can easily go through, add your files, add video or folder, edit it, edit audio tracks, drop in subtitles. You can even edit the options for the video for video format, PAL, NTSC, aspect ratio, all that good stuff. And at the very bottom here, you have the export option for the destination, the volume label, writing speed, copies, so maybe you're burning multiple discs here. You can see you can have the option for no menu, but you can also choose go through their or I should say go through their default menus here. So they have some default menus if you have some if you want to create a menu for your DVD, you can easily just import it here. Again, great for family videos or anything you need to export into a DVD format. So taking a look at the comparison of editions here, you can see the iPad Converter Suite features a standard Platinum and Ultimate package ranging from $35 to $55, giving you options like to create DVDs, uh, supporting specific export formats. So you can see here, Ultimate pretty much captures everything all in one. Well, the Platinum Edition will get some of them, but you can see here the standard edition, the cheapest, doesn't support every format so that's something you need to keep in mind again you can use this for Mac or PC and definitely check out the link below where you can get 25% off and you can see all the normal prices but if you click the buy button on the website it will instantly give you that 25% off any version check it out in the link below